Dan and Pete are ghost hunters who've recently caught something really creepy on camera. As they were conducting an investigation at a cemetery, one of their static cameras captures this. Both Dan and Pete didn't see this until viewers did. What are your thoughts on this? YouTube channel Fourth Wall received a creepy video from a ghost hunter who was visiting Mount Benton in Fukushima, Japan. According to Fourth Wall, there used to be abandoned buildings in this place, and there was a rumor that you can take photos of ghosts in those buildings. The place is now a well-maintained tourist destination. However, there are still rumors that a female ghost will appear at night. This video was shot by a person who came here to record ghosts. Although he saw nothing in particular during the shooting, he saw this after watching the footage. Could this be the female ghost that supposedly haunts this place, or is it something else? A few seconds into the video and more things begin to appear. But then, when he gets to the top of the staircase, this happens. How chilling. Hopefully he wasn't barefooted. Forget Mount Benton. Mount Spook would be a better name. Ruben Krugel has a YouTube channel named Mr. Red, and on this channel he has nothing but videos that are either about weapons or video games. Now, this is odd because the video I'm about to show comes from this exact same channel and is nothing like his other videos which makes it even more believable, if not more creepy. The video starts off with a montage of him and his friends vacationing in France. All appears to be normal, until, towards the end of the video, where things get really creepy. It isn't until Ruben and his friends visit an old bunker hidden in the French Alps that an ominous feeling begins to set in. Right before entering the bunker, which happens to be really deep, the group splits off, which, as we all know, is the best thing to do in a situation like this. So the whole gang splits and leaves two people behind. Those two people, later on, go inside and encounter something really creepy. 
This is what they caught on camera. Jesus, it's quite snow. Who dan? Oh, dit voelt als een heel slecht idee eigenlijk. Dat dacht ik ook, maar. Ja, is goed. We gaan terug. Thinking that the other group was trying to scare them, they pretend to walk away, hoping that doing so would make them come out. But no one did, except for this guy. There's no doubting that Ruben and his friends were left speechless after seeing this. There's a place in Madison, Ohio that is notorious for being haunted. When Trinity Campos heard about the Madison Seminary, she immediately booked a reservation and stayed the night there with some friends. It was just them, so they had the whole place to themselves. How fun, you might say. Well, not so much, because what happens later on left everyone totally spooked. While conducting an EVP session on her own, Trinity encounters something really creepy. The closeness of the footsteps was enough to make her leave, but as if this ghost couldn't get close enough, this happens. Oh my god. What, you okay? <gasps> oh. You okay? You're never gonna f***ing believe this. What? Now that's hair raising. But in all seriousness, this must have been really terrifying. Props to Trinity and her friends for staying the night and getting this on camera. It's 12 past midnight, and Jeff Stedix is outside an abandoned mansion that is supposedly haunted. Jeff has been here before, and encountered something pretty creepy. But little does he know, that on his second visit, something way more terrifying would occur. Jeff is inside the mansion, when this happens. What the hell? Hello? I swear, I guess someone is here right now, pranking me or going over or not, or, I don't know. Someone is here? What the hell? Hello? Hello? Jesus Christ. Hello? Okay, I almost 
빤소리 하고 있지? 헬로 What the hell? 요 What's going on here, man? Jeff can't help but think that there's a squatter in the house. However, as Jeff continues to explore, it seems less likely that a squatter is inhabiting the place and more likely that it's something else. Yo. Hello? The hell? My flashlight is dying right now. Ooh. The hell? Here, but... I don't know. There's no one. Probably an addict, but screw it, man. I don't know what the heck I'm doing, man. Here. I'm out of here, man. Jeff doesn't realize that a shadow-like figure had passed by. He continues to walk around and later decides to head downstairs. But, as he heads out, this happens. I'm out of here, man. I can't see the phone. Maybe next time, Jeff will have second thoughts about visiting this place. Andonis Villa Hose has been ghost hunting for a while. Out of all the places he's gone to, one stands out as being the most haunted. In a secluded area within a village, there's a small home that belonged to a doctor who recently passed away from a heart attack. What gave him a heart attack is unknown, but Andonis seems to think that his cause of death had to do something with this house. Whatever it was, it had to be something frightening. He must have been literally scared to death, as what happens to Andonis when he spends a night there scares the living hell out of him. An object on the table moves on its own. But things were only getting started because what happens next is beyond belief. There's no place like home, if you can even call it that. Hell would be a better name, and living in it would drive anyone insane. But when the paranormal pulls up, sometimes you gotta show it who's boss. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Until next time.